What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about Faraday Future. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on why it is going up as much as it is, and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So right now, it is up 46.12%, a lot of volume. So 91.5 million shares have been traded. 16.03 is the average. And so today, there has been no news, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines. Similarly, there hasn't been that submission of their Q4 or 2023 annual earnings. So we're kind of stuck in the gray as far as that. So in my opinion, I feel like there's two reasons why Faraday is going up. One of which is shorts. So right now shorts are returning 833.05 thousand shares. 43.95% of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 16.76 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of our average is 16.46%. It is on the threshold list and has been looks like since March the 11th so with that new SEC transparency rule kicking in fairly shortly I believe in the next month or a month and a half this is where any company on the threshold list you'll be able to find out exactly who is shorting so I feel like this is one contributing cause why it is going up as well as just AI so algorithmic trading but of course that just follows momentum plays but when it comes down to the other aspect, it has to do with their balance sheet. So I have kind of pointed out in the past, they have very minimal cash. And without their submission of their earnings, we don't know kind of an update. So the last update we do have is as of September 30th, and that was showing 6.71 million in cash equivalent short-term investments. So no doubtably, Faraday needs money. So that leads me to this dilution, because there's quite a few companies that have the exact same toxic insiders as Faraday and have the same convertible warrants so ultimately I do feel a lot of those insiders toxic insiders have and are exercising those warrants where technically the lower the price the more the conversion rate does occur so they're very very toxic and maybe behind the scenes the same toxic insiders that have the warrants are the same ones that are shorting it so maybe they are returning which again is adding buying pressure pressure at the same time as kind of converting the warrants. So it's a little bit more of an interesting scenario, but I do feel that this is most likely the cause why Faraday is going up unless possibly after hours, there is some epic news that does come out or maybe a takeover rumor or something like that. But as of right now, there's been absolutely nothing to justify its uptrend. So again, that's kind of what is happening behind the scenes. As far as options, you do see a lot more dollar value value getting in. So 5,200 in calls versus 89 in puts. Sentiment wise, 59% of all the options being done today are bearish. And of the call options that are being purchased, obviously there's a consensus for it to be above 50 cents by next or April 19th. So that's the next expiry date. Unfortunately, Faraday only has monthly options, so not the weekly, and then puts very little dollar value as far as that. And so as of right now, if you are looking at trading Faraday with it at 13 cents and change it is currently trading between this R1 and the R2. So it did bounce off of this general area, so the S2, so we do know that's a very strong support, at least to kind of go forward from here. But aside from that though, some points to watch for is 13.7 cents and then 15.3. So all in all, Faraday definitely is getting a lot of good volume uh, in it today, whether it be warrants or whatever else, you can technically make a lot of good money based off of this volatility. So you do you guys' own due diligence because I'm not a financial advisor, so no matter what, just do you whatever suits best. But potentially by tomorrow, if this threshold list is not rectified, you will still see a continuation of shorts, probably closing out some of their position going into tomorrow as well, because 43.95% is relatively high. Also on a side note, just throwing this out there, I have kind of said that this was the only hope for Faraday. Maybe there is a takeover opportunity or kind of a rumor coming out, and maybe they might be doing a hostile takeover because there's two different variations of a takeover. So hostile style is where they go on the open market and just buy any and all available shares. So that could be starting to happen. I'm not really sure. Um, of course, some people in the comments last time I've said that said that it doesn't really make sense, which 
It doesn't, but of course, with no news and it going up as much as it is, you kind of have to think about all possibilities. So let me know your thoughts on Faraday. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.